thoughts on the uh, Britain Young Person's Guide uh, excerpt. Uh, first thing, the mo one, of the, one of the more challenging parts of this excerpt is the dynamic shapes, right? So we have uh, a crescendo on each bar and then sort of a gradual crescendo um, from pianissimo to fortissimo, right? Over the course of, uh, of the first eight bars in the first phrase, right? So what I would suggest is starting each bar just slightly louder than the previous one, and that will give you the, a chance to sort of show these crescent, the little crescendos and the big crescendo at the same time. So, um, so if the first bar was pianissimo, but then maybe the second bar would be like pianissimo plus, uh, third bar would be like piano, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the other thing uh, about this is I might start a little bit slower than 112 personally, just to give yourself a little more uh, room to, for the accelerando and to make sure that the allegro just feels that much more um, different from the beginning, right? Uh, in the middle section, I think it's important to be as lyrical as possible. It's very different from the material that's on either end of the of the excerpt, so just um, play it play it as lyrically as possible. Vibrato, smooth bow changes, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then in terms of the gliss, um, I know there are different schools of thought about this. Um, the one that I have done most often is to kind of hold the note and then do the gliss on an up bow um, to sort of get you to the, to the next downbeat, okay? So rather than doing that, it would be... Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed Ted Botsford's excerpts and his explanation of these masterworks of amazing works of art by Mozart and Bach. Oh, just probably the best symphonies ever. The bass parts are just so cool to perform. And maybe if you keep practicing, you could be like Ted and playing in world famous orchestra with the greatest musicians getting to play these major works like he gets to do. So it's really inspiring to have him explain what to think about. So uh, how he plays is really, really helpful. And I hope that it inspires you to understand that we all love to play solo bass, but don't forget that you're also very good and can go and play in your orchestras from your school orchestra to your community orchestras to youth symphonies to district and state. It's just fantastic stuff out there. A lifetime of enjoyment of playing the bass, not just solos, but orchestra parts. So much fun. Oh, you're going to love it. Ted was George's student, and George was very clever at putting orchestras in his method from the Mahler, which many of you know, to the elephant, Beethoven's Ninth. We hope this leads you down this path of getting inspired to the, learning these masterworks, and playing bass for all kinds of ensembles. Keep practicing, and we hope to see you at the next KC Bass event. Have fun.